Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule. So today we will discuss a multiple choice question on this heterocyclic moiety and such kind of question could be useful for the exams like CSI, NET, GATE, IIT, JAM, BSc, MSc or BSMS or equivalent exam for those, equivalent exam for these grades. Okay. So today's question is nitrogen, uh, this pyrrole attached with tips. It's a protection group, tip structure is this. Reaction first with acetic anhydride, copper nitrate, room temperature. And after that, the produced product is further reacted with tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride in THF at room temperature and one final product is produced. Now, you have to find out what is the correct chemical structure of the final product, means the major product, okay. So, in order to answer the question, four options are provided in front of you. You have to find out the right answer because one of them is the right answer, okay. So, I believe uh, based on my opinion, please pause the video and try by yourself for self evaluation and write your answer in the comment box. Okay. And definitely after some time, you will have the com completely logical understanding. So, let us start. So, by the way, I thought I think you have tried by yourself. So, let us start. So, first of all, we need to understand the nature of the reagent because the nature of the reagent is responsible for its reactivity and reactivity is responsible to get a particular product. Okay. So, nature of the reagent understanding is very important. First of all, in first step what we have taken this pyrrole uh, derivative and this reagent. Let us come to the pyrrole first. See, pyrrole is a pi excess nucleus and it can undergo AES and AES possible on both C2 and C3. So, generally C2 is favored, okay. C2 is favored because the produced sigma complex is more stabilized because of the resonance. That is why C2 substitution is favored, <coughs> fine. Let us look at this example, acetic anhydride plus copper nitrate. Actually, I have little confusion also, I let me accept. So, but still it is an example I have taken from book. So, I am telling exactly. So, what can, this can act as an acylating reagent or it can act as a dehydrating reagent, this uh, acetic anhydride. So, here this copper nitrate is there. So, in presence of maybe some amount of moisture, it can produce some nitric acid. Okay. So, this nitric acid can be undergo dehydration in presence of an acetic anhydride to produce the electrophile that is NO2 plus. Fine. And these ultimately NO25 along with NO25 what will produce that acetate. So actually in the reaction medium we are producing nitronium acetate. So this is the cation and this is the anion. Okay. So this is a selective nitrogen reagent where the electrophile is NO2 plus. So fine. And another thing in the second state we have used tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride. Question why tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride? Because we know that fluoride are efficient for silyl amide or silyl ether deprotection. And why we are taking tetrabutyl ammonium, chloride, ammonium fluoride instead of that lithium, sodium like that because see the reagent was previously mentioned was THF means it is an organic solvent and fluoride salts are very ionic for inorganic fluoride that is why you have taken this tetrabutyl group because of the presence of 4 butyl tetrabutyl ammonium for butyl group this is soluble in solvent like THF. Okay, So that is the reagent to choose exactly this reagent. Well, fine, let us discuss the mechanism. So, what happens? <coughs> See, in this case, NO2 acts as electrophile and in this case, the C3 substitution occurs. Question, why not C2? For that, you need to understand the structure. Structure means, see, this is silicon, this is 3 isopropyl group. This is 3 isopropyl group. Now, the question is, why it can't attack this C2 position, whereas this is C3? Actually, this is due to one term, steric protection. Okay, so this is actually because of steric protection. What do I mean by the statement? Actually, protection you understood, saving something, and steric protection means saving some positions reactivity because of steric hindrance. Okay, so what happens in this case? See, nitrogen is attached to silicon. This is a bigger element because nitrogen is a second row element whereas silicon is actually third row element. So, bigger in size point number one. So, point number one is silicon big size. Okay, and point number two, three IPR. What do I mean by the statement? See, this is actually three big group from the Im image maybe because of wrong drawing by myself, you don't think but actually they are very big such that these positions are 
not accessible so this is not accessible okay so nucleophile cannot attack this position fine third point we know that pyrrole is very 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 electron rich and it is very reactive for aromatic liquid substitution additionally pyrrole is a pi excess nucleus so this is actually a pi excess nucleus so they are very reactive for aes that's why although for c3 substitution the corresponding sigma complex is relatively less stabilized but because of pyrrole's extreme reactivity this could be counterbalanced so this is pyrrole's reactivity for aes reactivity very high reactivity for aes so because of these three reason actually this is happens so we have understood that why this is produced now in case of fluorine means the second step what happens see this fluorine this fluorine can this fluorine can attack the silicon center and it will go back means actually this mechanism is like you may consider a n plus d n okay a n plus d n addition of nucleophile and depart followed by not safe step at another step departure of nucleophuge okay so and after that this got protonated and it produced this product three nitro pyrrole so this is the thing this is the answer so this could be considered as a selective strategy for nitrogen at c3 position which is which is, which generally difficult to get for normal pyrrole why because it is very reactive and it's selective for c2 but because of this steric protection because of this steric protection we are able to get the reactivity at c3 okay fine now an interesting thing when we are talk discussing this so how this uh, this silylated pyrrole could be prepared simple from pyrrole anion and tri isopropyl silyl chloride how this will attack to the silicon center similarly n plus dn and ultimately cl will leave now question how to get this pyrrole derivative simple from a simple pyrrole whereas there is a nh you have to treat with this okay and see this pyrrole is significantly acidic compared to simple means aliphatic nh bond because the produced negative charge could further be delocalized over all these uh, means this nucleus fine so for example you may use reagents like sodium hydride but or butyl lithium or means grignard reagent like methyl magnesium bromide or another very good option is koh fused okay means you take solid koh to add pyrrole and heat it such that the acid base reaction will happen and the produced water will go out from the reaction medium and ultimately it will result in potassium plus pyrrole minus fine so in this way this could be done now so what is the answer of our question this is the third second one now first for example if this question comes in your exam and you are little bit confused i know from reagent point you will not be confused because you have read already but question may come what is the tips and what is its contribution so for that purpose you need to think that this is lots of bulky groups are there so they will create definitely some steric interest otherwise why this protection will give up okay so that's why it's expected that c2 substitution is very difficult okay and another thing we have used this fluoride anion tetrabutyl so it will remove silicon fluoride so this is not possible this is not possible because nitration so comparison is actually coming between these two means either this or this since because of this steric protection this cannot so only one option left this so based on your logical understanding i believe you can get the answer if you do exactly don't know the right and this is every student's duty or target that how they can improve their logical understanding and that is only possible by studying basic chemistry properly logically that's why i request please watch the complete video because if you skip it you will just get the information but not the explanation okay fine so <clears throat> in conclusion what you have learned today we have learned today about selective methodology for aromatic electrophilic substitution on pyrrole on c3 position which is generally difficult to obtain and generally the intermediate sigma complex produced during aes on five member heterocycle produce c2 due to higher resonance stabilization of the sigma complex which is the intermediate okay fine and protection deprotection strategy in aes you may consider that because actually you are protecting means what do i mean by the statement this is silyl ipr 
tries so first of all we are protecting this this two c2 this two c2 so consequently what happening reaction uh, that force to happen here and after that we are deprotecting this so you may consider this is a protection because and deprotection strategy because for example amino acid what we part we we block one part such that we can react other parts selectively so we have blocked this position and this position such that reaction can happen selectively at this c3 position so that is that you may consider it such protection deprotection strategy and finally in this reaction nitronium acetate we have produced which could be generated from this medium and this in this case nitronium as electrophile means for nit nitro substitution and remember fluoride fluoride can remove silylether protection and generally for this purpose we choose tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride why because this tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride tetrabutyl ammonium group is soluble in organic solvent whereas the alkali metal fluoride or alkaline earth metal fluoride they are highly ionic so they are not soluble in organic solvent okay so this is the overall discussion for today i hope this video may be useful for you if it is uh, so please like my channel and i thank you for watching this video if you really like my effort is worthy then write in the comment box and finally if you think this video could be useful then share with your friends so that they can also enjoy the benefit and subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon okay so that you get notification of every single video i upload so till now stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video